Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In a previous video, I discussed the October heat wave of 1921. There was a lot of fake news about an October heat wave in the UK this year. But the warmest temperature London seen this month was 66 degrees Fahrenheit. That was almost 20 degrees cooler than their warmest temperatures from October 1921. There was a worldwide heat wave and drought during 1921, which brought millions of people to the brink of death in Eastern Europe, Russia, and Asia. 1921 had the second highest average maximum temperature in the United States. And 1921 in the United States had the most days above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The worldwide upset weather of 1921 was blamed on the solar system passing through a vast unseen cosmic cloud at a time when sunspots were hottest. The Arctic was rapidly melting in 1921, and the glaciers in Glacier National Park were melting so fast, experts predicted they would be gone before the year 1950. Glaciers in Norway were also retreating extremely fast around that time. Despite the record heat, NASA says 1921 was one of the coldest years on record. But this video is about another year which NASA says was very cold, 1927. On October 23, 1927, almost half of the United States was over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 states recorded temperatures over 90 degrees, and 33 states recorded temperatures over 80 degrees. From October 22 to October 30, 1927, Harrisburg, Illinois averaged 87 degrees Fahrenheit, including two 90-degree days. A few days later, Vermont experienced their worst flood on record. This was just as the country started to recover from the worst flood in U.S. history on the Mississippi. That flood lasted for six months and drove hundreds of thousands of people from their homes permanently. The Red Cross described fiscal year 1927 as being the worst disaster year in their history. The disasters of 1927 included 29 tornadoes, 24 floods, 23 fires, and 9 hurricanes. During May, dozens of towns were destroyed in Missouri and Arkansas by a tornado outbreak. And at the end of September 1927, St. Louis was largely destroyed by a tornado. One year earlier, Miami was destroyed by a hurricane in America's inflation-adjusted most expensive natural disaster. This is what Miami Beach looked like in September 1927. The hurricane largely destroyed Miami, Hollywood, and Fort Lauderdale. Huge sunspots were blamed for the excessive rains and storms which caused unprecedented floods in various parts of the world. We don't have to guess what the climate would be like at lower levels of carbon dioxide because we have huge amounts of historical information. People who claim the weather was better at lower levels of carbon dioxide are not telling the truth. And even worse are people who claim we can make the weather better by giving up our reliable supply of energy and food. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this superstition for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Tokyo Nupla, on the web at realclimatescience.com.